Hey there everyone, this is Ben Robbins just coming to you from, well, social distancing. And now that we are having to do church in a different way, uh, that means we're also going to be doing things like Bible study in a different way. So uh, normally at this time, um, at least on today, we'd be having an Amos Bible study this evening. And we will be having Sunday school in a few days and worship in a few days. So you're going to be seeing my face on a screen um, for the next, well, unforeseeable future. And um, hopefully we get a, a good chance to still interact together and um, have worshipful experiences. And so our first attempt at this will be uh, a Bible study that we will send out uh, via the Piper. Um, what I do here this afternoon will also have a written copy. So if there's someone who is let's say less inclined to uh, be up on social media types of things. Um, you can share that with them and they can read it or print it out and they can read it. Um, however, you can be helpful in making sure that we stay connected uh, would be great. So in um, typical Amos fashion, what we'll be doing this afternoon is the same passage that I did a sermon on just this past week. And I know Many of you, because of the virus, were not able to be with us, but uh, this is the passage that I preached on. And so just know that what we'll be doing here is relatively similar to what we would be doing um, most weeks. Uh, so this is going to be from John chapter 4, and this is 5 through 21. I'm going to go ahead and read it for us first, and then um, I'll pose a couple of things for us to think about from the passage and then have some questions uh, that you can ponder uh, and maybe even share with myself or with other people and then a prayer at the end. So uh, let's get started. Um, so here's the passage again from uh, John chapter 4 uh, this 5 through 21. So he came to a Samaritan city called Sinchar, now the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired by his journey, was sitting by the well, and it was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of water of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews did not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying this to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well? and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of the water can be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I give them will never be thirsty. The water I will give will, bec will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband, and come back. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on the mountain nor in Jerusalem. That's the reading. 